Hey, kia ora. Today we're going to be making a solenoid motor. You're going to need some old electrical wire, single core with insulation like this that you can peel back. Some very thin wire that's coated. This is uh, 0.3 millimeters. I'm going to use some popsicle sticks, hot glue gun, something to mount it on. This could be a wooden block or anything. And then optional is uh, this little switch. And then you need this uh, thicker copper wire to make the rod out of. Also a pen that you can take apart and a nail that will fit inside of it. If you have a drill, use a drill, or else you can kind of burn a hole through the sticks using a soldering iron. And you'll want to make it so that your wire is going to fit through there. Obviously not. So you want to make sure that both of the bumps are going up when we're using the switch. I've made other designs, but that was for a different system. We need to make four more, but without holes in them this time. So make sure they're exactly the right size. Now we can glue it on. Now insert the whole shaft in there and then you'll want to slide it to one side right to there and then we're going to cut it off so that we can remove it when we need to. I'm going to use a cord that I already made before so you're going to take your pen, cut it short, make sure there's a hole in there and then get quite a big nail that's magnetic. Make sure it fits through the hole. I use my soldering iron again to make the hole big enough for the nail. And then just wrap around it as many times as you can. The more the better, the stronger it's gonna be. And then you're just gonna wanna have a wire off each end and get some sandpaper and get rid of that coating on there so it's conductive. All right, so now I can hot glue the legs on. Just make sure they're all the same length as the other one, as these guys. Stringy bits get everywhere. Okay, so that's going to go like that. And get our nail. So my shaft is too long now. So get a piece of metal like that. And I've just tied it onto the end of the nail, if you can see that, with this, the smaller wire make a connection that will pivot like that. So once you've got something like that, where the hole is centered on the shaft and it fits freely on there, thread it round to there and then you'll see that'll be your back and forth movement. So strip some of the insulation off of here, and that's what we'll use as spaces. And so these little guys can just go on here, that, and it'll hold it in place. So 
We have to find our distance where we're going to mount this. We want it to, the nail to fully come right in, but not touch, so right about there. So we can check if it's working right now by attaching a battery to it, and it should suck the nail in just like that. It's not going to continue around until we add a flywheel and the switch, but it should suck it in. Uh, you really got to get your adjustment real fine tuned. I've actually ended up having to make three different styles because the length is wrong or the, you know something's happening so this could take quite a while you want to get your switch placed so that it's only turning on once the nail is fully extended so the mag electromagnet will pull it in and then once it's near in it turns off and then to carry it around you'll need a flywheel of some sort so I've used a peanut butter jar lid made a few scratches so the hot glue would stick to it and then put it on and it should rotate freely like that clicking to pull the nail in